Hello everyone, it's the Breet. Um, this is just a really quick collection update. I'm trying to make my videos a little shorter, but I just got a Rinkia box in and there's a bunch of chaos going on here. You can see as I'm trying to unwrap and sort through things, but I'm so excited about a couple things that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys part of what I got in. Um, some things I haven't decided whether I'm keeping them or selling them, so um, this isn't the whole rinky shipment, and then of course there was stuff that I got in that I'm going to sell. So um, this is just what I know um, positive that I'm keeping, and um, I also have some other things I got in that'll be in the next collection update, but I'm really excited about some of this stuff, so um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'll start over here some of the bigger boxes. This is the pet sitter, um, it's like a puppy salon by Bandai, and it works kind of like the uh, Tamagotchi restaurant does where you take these items and place it in the slot to take care of the dog that's here. Um, it looks so cute. Like, I just see the little scissors, like you, you, you squeeze the little scissors and it like, you're like doing the, uh, what am I thinking, uh, cutting the fur, it's just, oh my god, it's so cute. And um, this is the back of it, kind of shows you some of the animations and what the items do. It's just, it was so adorable, it was cheap, I thought it's Bandai, I've got to get it, it's so freaking cute, so I'm really excited, that's called the Pet Sitter. I did not know that this thing was going to be so freaking big, oh my god, seriously, look at this thing. That's my hand, this thing is freaking huge. So this is Mimoni by Tomy, and it is an interactive robot. I noticed that even in Japan these things um, are pretty expensive. Um, they can communicate with each other and it just seems like a cute interactive robot. I couldn't really find a whole lot online about these, but from the animations I saw, it is so cute. It's a Tomy product, so I'm all in for it. But you can see the size of this thing. It's so freaking huge. But this shows you like some of the interactions and hopefully I'll be able to understand it, but I got a really good price on it. The only thing that bothers me is that. Then I think this thing might wake me up in the middle of the night. <coughs> Sorry. But um yeah. This thing looks really cool. Um, a lot of them I notice on Yahoo Japan are going for like $60 or more, but I ended up getting a good deal on this. Man. A bunch of Japanese on the back, so not sure everything, but I've been on a couple of Japanese blogs and I couldn't really understand what they were saying, but the, the faces it was making were so cute, so pretty excited about that. And Tomi's really good about um, having interactive uh, robots and characters and this I'm crazy excited about so and she's going nuts aren't you this is Bandai's Panda Land and if you look closely at the shape of it, you will notice that it is very close to Bandai's Tamagotchi restaurant. And it basically functions similarly, except for you are taking care of a panda in a zoo. So you see you've got your milk bottle, little pool, cute little items, medicine. And so you use these items and place them here and interact with your panda and take care of it. And the back shows some of the absolutely adorable little animations. I mean, this is so precious. It shows some of the items that comes with the little toilet. That's so cute. So, I was really excited about this and to see something that's placed similarly to the Tamagotchi restaurant, but is uh, still Bandai. These are by Takata Tomi, 
and these are Sugar Bunnies Color Scan Beep. So how they work is that you'll place these little bottom pieces on a color and you help the sugar bunnies run their businesses. So it's kind of like the Cheeks Chan, except for it's a little more interactive with your environment. So like with this cake, you get the ingredients, like you scan the red color and like you get strawberries. So you can get strawberries for the strawberry cake. And then this one is the flower shop. So you've got the pastry chef one and then the flower shop. And then you scan to get all the different things that you need to make the flower bouquets. And they just looked so fun and cute. See, it's scanning the red color and it's getting a little strawberry. Make all kinds of pastries. Oh my goodness, honey. She's going crazy. This, uh, a lot of people have posted about and said they liked it, so um, I saw one with a bunch of other items that I was going to get from the seller, so it's the Lost World um, Virtual Pet. Not the, not the Lost World like the Giga Pets, but some people say they really like it. The animations look cute. So then from the same seller, I got some odd pets to try out, because some of the odd pets we've had in the community right now that have been coming out are really cute, so I thought I'd take a chance. They were all really cheap, so I got a smart chick. It's a little scientist testing on the chick. And then I don't know what this is because I can't read it. I'd have to translate it later, but came in the same grouping. So I thought this I'd try. is a limited edition. Um, this was the Christmas edition Cheeks Chan, the white one, and it actually has a pearly finish. So I'm really happy about getting that one. I have the pink one and I was really enjoying it. And unfortunately these are not cheap because they were the limited edition ones. Cheeks Chans in Japan themselves are, are really expensive anyway, so limited edition ones. So I, d I did pay more for this one, but I'm, I'm happy I got it because I'm obsessed with like white and pearly things. I also got these. These are uh, Mushi Battle Beetles. And so the little buttons look like Rochambeau like rock, paper, scissors, and apparently they've got these numbers, which apparently denote that there's something different in each one, but I got these different designs, like these two green ones have different tops, but basically you raise and train a big uh, beetle, like stag beetles, and then you battle them against each other. They've got little, little IR ports that they communicate, and this is the second series, I believe, that they came out with. Um, there's three different types that I've seen of the Mushi Battle series, and I'm pretty sure this is the second edition because the, the other ones that they have don't have nearly as good of graphics as these do. And then the third ones are like color touchscreen craziness, which I do hope to get at some point um, if these end up being fun. But the, apparently they're popular enough because they made multiple editions of them, and these are by Sega. This which I'm completely blanking on the name of it, but it's that Bandai little suitcase game that everybody's been having fun with, so I thought I'd try it. comes with that little set of cards. You scan them. It's cute and it's Tamagotchi. I have to play with it. D-N-Y-A Animal Edition. Which, in my previous videos you've seen, I had the fashion one, and then I was able to get this one in packaging. Okay, so here it is. Someone took off with it. She's playing innocent now. Um, this is the food Disney DNYA, and it came with this cool DNYA pouch that's uh, made to hold them. So it has this long, like, string that comes up the top so you can store it inside, which I thought was pretty neat considering it didn't have the packaging. They kept this cute pouch. 
finally got the Dream Academy version. So now the only pierce I'm missing is the Chow Pierce, which is the most expensive and rare of all of them. So I think they only made like 3,000 of them, I think someone said. But finally got the Dream Academy one. I got two of these. I will probably end up selling one. So, because I only really need one, but they both came in with another Mothra, which I'm going to sell, and then they came with this P1, little clock P1. So I finally have a green case one. And then I've started, I finally have one of the hearts themed um, Osu Mesu, so this is the yellow and pink Mesuchi. So now I just got to get the male one. Got a really good price on this, so I'm um, because I'm stubborn and I don't want to pay a lot for these, so I got a good deal on this one. And then I got this slime, the Dragon Quest slime. Got a really good deal on this since it did, what, didn't have its packaging, and honestly, I really I wanted to try it out before I bought one in package. I mean, they're really popular. People, these are these are highly sought after, but um, I really wanted to try it before I spent as much as these are going for. So I got this pretty. And then I got this slime, the Dragon Quest slime. Got a really good deal on this since it did, what, didn't have its packaging. And honestly, I really I wanted to try it out before I bought one in package. I mean, they're really popular. People, these are these are highly sought after, but um, I really wanted to try it before I spent as much as these are going for. So I got this. And then I can't believe I got the deal that I did on this. I was really excited. I only paid like twenty-five dollars for this, but it is the pirate shell K Taikai. So that will go perfectly along with my purple Viking shell. So I kind of feel like I have a nice set with that. Seller. So this one's like the bubble gum. Look at that little coochie pochi. Blow in the bubble, it's so cute. And then I got this one, which is the one I've wanted really bad out of all of the different chibis. I wanted this one. It has the little tea and little croissant and donuts, and it's just so freaking cute, and its colors are so pretty. So I'm really excited that I finally got this one. This one always goes for a lot. Then I got a hold of this in the giant lot of Entamas and Odatamas that I bought and posted on the Facebook groups. Um, but this one is one that I'm definitely keeping, and this is the CYOI, the little strawberry cake version. I just, I love it. I love strawberries, I love cake. The CYOI is the best Entama by far. It blows the original Entama out of the water, so this was such a great find. And then I've been trying to get my hands on one of these and finally did the 1997 Hong Kong Collector's Edition, finally. I've always loved this shell but they weren't always easy to find, especially with the uh, Certificate of Authenticity, which this one is brand new in package, so it'll have the little certificate inside. And then I got a whole bunch of Tamagotchi vintage keychains. These were super cheap. Got them all from the same seller, got a great deal. Only paid like three or four dollars a piece for them. They're so adorable. So I got this sleeping Mamechi. Little sleeping toddler. He's gonna eat a rice ball. And I'm guessing he's eating a bowl of rice there. But I like that all of these are on their original cards. Kusachi. Oh, he and I. One of my favorites because it has poop. Tamagotchis and poop. There's a coochie pochi and a big turd. A sight we're all very familiar with. 
And then it's Mimichi eating a cake. It's just so cute. And then the last one is just a very happy Tala. Then I got all of these little pouches. I really like Rilakkuma. So I got all of these in a lot, and they're little pouches that I thought would be perfect to put Tamagotchis in and carry Tamagotchis around in. So I got all of these really cute designs. And then these were a really fun find, especially since everybody's really into the um, DNYAs right now. But these are the DNYA uh, charms that they came out with during that time. So I've got the little booklets that came with all of them. And then I've got a full set. So I got the little apple and Mickey himself. French fries, Mickey. How friggin' cute is that? This one is probably one of my favorites. Little Planet Mickey. So cute. Fat Mickey. Panda Mickey. But still looks like Fat Mickey. Little Duck Mickey. And a cell phone Mickey. And a car. So cute. And I will end this video with a good find that I had. And this is the original box that it was sent out in. This is the letter that they sent out to this. And these are one of the Bandai shareholder edition shells. These were sent out as a set to important Bandai shareholders to celebrate the uh, new Bandai headquarters in Japan. There were two different designs. Personally, this one is the one I liked the most. And it came up on Yahoo Japan, so I went ahead and grabbed it because shareholder editions are really difficult to find. Only people who actually owned like, at least, I should say, important people who owned stock in uh, Bandai got these. So, pretty excited to get these. And that's pretty much this section of the video. Um, I do have some other stuff to add on, but I don't want this to get too long. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Can you say thank you? Whoa, look at that glare. <laughs>